I looked into these Alnico magnets and they are averaging about $15 a pair. So I took a little time. I found a video of a gentleman showing how to remagnetize a an Alnico magnet with another magnet. He was using neodymium magnets, which would be much stronger and much faster. I had these ceramic channel magnets. So I just set them on the ends like this, and I was able to get this to go from being able to lift three ounces of steel taped together to lifting seven ounces of steel taped together. So more than doubled the strength of it just by putting these ceramic magnets on the ends for a little while. Like I said, a neodymium magnet would be faster. So I'm thinking some way to either make or purchase a remagnetizer might be the best way to go with these Alnico magnets. Otherwise, we're looking at needing to purchase ones that are in the two to inch and a quarter length range. And that's that's very, very short. I mean, we're talking inch and a quarter is about there, two inches is about there. That's That's not a very big magnet especially considering that we're used to like three inch ones four inch ones so that's a thought another thing that came up were these ring magnets uh, again like the ceramic magnets that you already have they are magnetized to the faces so north south uh, are the faces of the magnet which means the activities of pushing them around the table um, doesn't really make quite as much sense as lining up a pair of the Alnico magnets and using those. Uh, but one of the great things about ceramic magnets is they don't lose magnetism as quickly, uh, not anywhere near as quickly in the recent repulsion activities as the Alnico magnets do. So we could maybe put these ring magnets on a rod whether it's a pencil or a dowel, and then push them across in a controlled environment where they're not necessarily going to fall off of the table. We could even build an entire system, just a rod of some sort, pencil, dowel, whatever, some kind of a stopper like a rubber band or binder clip, maybe one of each, a couple of stand pieces like le to make legs. And then we could explore those repulsion and attraction forces in a controlled environment where these are not going to cause the magnets to collide into anything if it were to be dropped. I mean, much less likely. It doesn't negate the need for goggles, but it does certainly help a lot. Now, if this rod were a dowel and it were long enough, say maybe, you know, another, I don't know, six inches or so, then we could push these all the way to one end and let them go and measure this distance for each trial, get a average or even do maximums and then use our force and motion equations to get an idea of how much potential energy was built up in this repulsion and released into kinetic energy. So some options there that we may indeed, maybe could explore and be interested to hear your thoughts.